Tommy Roland Shaw is an American guitarist, singer, and songwriter, and is best known for his stint with the rock band Styx. His song, Count On You, is in his second album, What If, which was released in 1985. There are only five chords, and these are C major, C major sixth, C major 7th, F major, and G major. Three of these chords belong to major type of chords, which are C major, F major, and G major. One chord belongs to major 6th type of chord, which is C6, and one chord belongs to major 7th type of chord, which is C major 7th. This is C major, index finger on the 2nd string at 1st fret, middle finger on the 4th string at 2nd fret, ring finger on the 5th string at 3rd fret. The 1st string and the 3rd strings are left open. The 6th string is a dead string and must not be played. So you have 5 strings for this chord. Next chord is C major 6th. For C major 6th, you still have your index finger on the 2nd string at 1st fret, middle finger on the 4th string at 2nd fret, but you need your ring finger on the 3rd string at 2nd fret, and your pinky on the 5th string at 3rd fret. So you have 4 fingers on the strings. The 1st string is left open, the 6th string is dead. So you strum 5 strings. The next chord is C major 7th. For C major 7th, it's just like C major, but without your index finger. So you have your middle finger on the 4th string at 2nd fret, and your ring finger on the 5th string at 3rd fret. The 3rd, 2nd, and 1st strings are left open. The 6th string is dead. So you strum 5 strings. F major is a bar chord. And it's this shape. You have your index finger across all 6 strings. Middle finger on the 3rd string at 2nd fret. Ring finger on the 5th string at 3rd fret. And pinky on the 4th string at 3rd fret. You strum all 6 strings. And G major, you can play with these fingers or this finger. I'd like to play this chord with this finger combination 2, 3, and 4. So I have my middle finger on the 5th string at 2nd fret, ring finger on the 6th string at 3rd fret, and my pinky on the 1st string at 3rd fret. The 4th, 3rd, Second strings are left open. You strum all six strings. There are two chord progressions for this song. One for verses and the other one for refrain. Let's talk about the chord progression or sequence of chords for verses. It begins with C major for one measure. This is followed by C major 6th for one measure. And to transition from C major to C major 6th, you have to bring down your ring finger to 3rd string at 2nd fret and position your small finger on the 5th string at 3rd fret. And this is followed by C major 7th. And to transition from C major 6th to C major 7th, Take out your index finger as well as your ring finger. And then it goes back to C major for one measure. So reposition your index finger 
on the second string at first fret. And then it goes to F major for one measure. And then to G major for one measure. And then it goes back to C major for two measures. that's for verses. For refrain, it begins with C major for two measures. And this is followed by F major for two measures. It goes back to C major for two measures. Then to G major for two measures. And you have to repeat for the whole refrain. And for strumming pattern, this is what I'm suggesting. You see a series of downstrokes and upstrokes. Downstroke at count 1, upstroke at count 2, downstroke between counts 2 and 3, downstroke right at count 3, upstroke between counts 3 and 4, and downstroke at count 4. You have to do 8 note counting. And practice the pattern first at a slow tempo. So you may count something like this. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And with this tempo and applying the sequence of strokes correspondingly, it sounds like this. 1 and, and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... So doing this for chord progression for verse, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and 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 so all you have to do is just keep practicing until your right hand gets familiar with the sequence of uh, strokes and apply it at the record tempo which sounds like this If you find the pattern difficult to do, I have another suggestion, and it's this one. And as you can see, you have downstroke at count 1, upstroke at count 2, downstroke between counts 2 and 3, upstroke between counts 3 and 4, and downstroke at count 4. At a slow tempo, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and using the chord progression for verses, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two.
And there's another pattern that we have to apply and this happens at refrain only and in particular for G major chord. If you remember the last chord in a chord progression for refrain is G major which is for two measures and the playing of G major for two measures is this way. For the first measure you apply the pattern that I'm suggesting. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and on the second measure the next pattern is this one which is what we call whole note strum and this only happens right at count 1 on the second measure or on the next measure you just do a downstroke right at count 1 so for G major for two measures it goes like this 1 and 2 This pattern, one and two and three and four and, and this one, one and two and three and four and, are both complex patterns. But this one, one and two and three and four and, is a basic strumming pattern, which is what you call whole note strum. If you want to learn more about basic strumming patterns, click this link for that lesson. I hope you find this tutorial or content helpful in learning to play the song on the guitar. Kindly support this channel by clicking the like button and also by subscribing. Subscribe so that you will be notified of every upload that I'll be making in the future. Also, don't forget to share this content so that others will also be able to learn the song. And shout out to Chili Pepper for requesting a tutorial on this song. Thank you for watching and for the demo or demonstration of playing with chords and lyrics, click this card. Subscribe to be notified automatically for new uploads. Thank you for watching.